They say warp drive is impossible, but what if they're lying? In this video, we break down 10 shocking takeaways from Joe Rogan's mind-bending interview with a real warp drive physicist. One of them could change how you see space, time, and reality itself. Keep watching. The truth is way closer than you think. Takeaway one, warp drive might actually be possible. Dr. Sonny White explains that warp drive is not just science fiction anymore. He refers to real physics, specifically general relativity, to show how warping space could allow faster than light travel without actually breaking the speed limit of light. The concept is based on compressing space in front of a spacecraft and expanding it behind, effectively moving the spacecraft without accelerating through space. This idea was first proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994. And Sonny White has been working on how to make it real by using something called exotic matter, which could be created through quantum effects. For example, during the podcast, Sonny showed how some nanotechnology they are experimenting with might already be producing the right kind of energy distribution to mimic a real warp bubble. He also pointed out, the proper acceleration alpha on board the spacecraft is formally zero, which means no one inside would feel any force or g-force even when the drive is switched on. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway two, space and time can be bent deliberately. According to current physics, space can be stretched or compressed, and the laws of general relativity say this can be done at any speed. Dr. White explains that this is how the universe expanded faster than light during the Big Bang. So it's not just a theory, it's something that has already happened. The trick is finding a way to control this expansion in a useful local way for space travel. To do this, scientists would need to use a ring of exotic material around a spacecraft, which causes space in front to shrink and space behind to grow. The result is movement across great distances in a short time. For example, this could let a ship travel to Proxima Centauri, which is over four light years away, in just a few months instead of centuries. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway three, exotic matter is key to warp drive. The math behind warp drives requires a strange substance called exotic matter, which has negative mass. That sounds made up, but Sonny explains that quantum physics gives us a real-world example of how negative energy might exist. This is shown through something called the Casimir effect, where two metal plates placed very close together in a vacuum feel a force pushing them together. This happens because there's less energy between the plates than outside, creating a kind of negative pressure. For example, Sonny's lab has built nano-sized structures that mimic this setup, and they've been able to observe behaviors that match the requirements for creating a tiny warp bubble. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway four, nanotech might unlock new energy sources. Sonny White's company, Casimir, is developing tiny devices that can harvest energy from the quantum vacuum, which is the background energy that exists even in empty space. These devices are built using advanced 3D printing at the nanoscale. The goal is to produce small amounts of electricity without any fuel or moving parts by exploiting the behavior of quantum fields between tightly spaced structures. For example, one structure they designed looks like a cylinder filled with rods. When studied, the energy distribution inside it closely matches what would be needed to bend space like in a warp drive. That means this tech could help power everything from wearable devices to future spaceships. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway five, current propulsion systems are outdated. Dr. White and Joe Rogan discuss how chemical rockets, like the ones we use now, are not capable of solving the time and distance problems of deep space travel. Rockets are fine for getting to space, but not for going through space quickly. Sonny explains that going to Saturn in 200 days, which is a reasonable goal for human travel, would require nuclear electric propulsion at the very least. For example, a fusion-based spacecraft could reduce interstellar travel from thousands of years down to just over a century. These systems are still theoretical but grounded in real physics, unlike the fuel-heavy rockets we have today. We're halfway through the video. Thanks for sticking with us. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up and share it in your WhatsApp groups. If you'd like to support us, please tap the thanks button below. It helps us keep making great content. Drop a comment and don't forget to hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway six, the future needs more physics circles. Using a metaphor, 
Sonny describes our current knowledge of physics as two overlapping circles. One is quantum mechanics, and the other is general relativity. These two do not fully explain the universe together, and the missing connection is gravity at the quantum level. To develop real warp technology or understand dark energy, we need more circles in this diagram, meaning new branches of physics. For example, a physicist named Sakharov once proposed that gravity might be an emergent effect rather than a fundamental force. If true, this could help unify quantum mechanics with gravity and make warp concepts physically achievable. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway seven, UFOs might not be what we think. Joe and Sonny discuss sightings of unidentified flying objects, especially those reported by military pilots. While Sonny remains agnostic, he does entertain possible explanations. One idea he considered was whether plasma projections made by intersecting lasers to ionize air could create illusions in the sky. These are real technologies and are even being developed to fool heat-seeking missiles. However, Sonny admits these theories don't fully explain the radar data or matte surfaces described in some reports. For example, one pilot described a tic-tac-shaped object that dropped 50,000 feet in seconds, which would kill any human from the G-forces involved. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway 8. AI could help push physics forward. As part of the discussion on future scientific progress, Dr. White talks about how artificial intelligence and machine learning could drastically accelerate discoveries in physics. In the past, it took decades to go from equations to working nuclear reactors, but today's technology could shorten that process. For example, pattern recognition software might help analyze the behavior of the quantum field or simulate how exotic matter behaves under certain conditions, potentially uncovering new laws of nature faster than human scientists working alone. Now let's move to the next takeaway. Takeaway nine, breakthroughs need cross-generational effort. Sonny compares his work to building a cathedral. Just like the people who laid the foundation stones of cathedrals in the 1100s knew they wouldn't live to see them completed, he sees his research as part of a long game. The development of something as complex as a warp drive will likely take many generations, with each generation adding a layer of understanding. For example, a university student today who learns about quantum vacuum energy might one day discover how to control it building on the groundwork Sonny and others are laying today. Now let's move to the last takeaway. Takeaway 10, reality might be stranger than magic. As they dive into the weirdness of quantum physics, Sonny and Joe highlight just how bizarre our universe really is. Subatomic particles can be in two places at once, affect each other instantly across distance, and even behave differently when observed. These are not guesses, but proven phenomena. For example, the famous double-slit experiment shows that particles act like waves until you measure them, and then they act like solid objects. Sonny believes that future discoveries may reveal a deeper layer of reality that explains this behavior in a logical way, rather than just saying it is random. Here is a brief introduction about Dr. Harold Sonny White. Dr. Harold Sonny White is a physicist and aerospace engineer specializing in advanced propulsion, particularly warp drive physics. Formerly leading NASA's advanced propulsion team at Johnson Space Center, he is now the founder and CEO of Casimir, a deep tech startup focused on developing breakthrough power generating nanotechnology. Casimir's innovations have the potential to transform sustainable energy on Earth and may lay the groundwork for future advancements in interstellar propulsion systems. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.